flying is hard. It took human flight pioneers decades to come up with a design that would stay in the air. There were many experiments, some better than others. Some stood the test of time. And so it was when animals learnt to fly. We know of three different groups of flying vertebrates, birds, bats and pterosaurs. But they didn't just spring into the air one day fully formed. They too experimented with flight. A fossil dig in Hebei province near Beijing in China has unearthed a fossil that reveals the breadth of experimenting that went on. This squashed beauty is a newly discovered species of dinosaur called Yi Qi. It's about the size of a large pigeon. Yi Qi is related to the dinosaur ancestors of modern day birds. But although it had feathers, it didn't have wings like bears. Instead, it had these long fingers that supported a membrane, a bit like a bat's wing. Scientists are scratching their heads about how it might have flown. It might have flapped, like a bat. Or glided, a bit like this flying squirrel. It's impossible to know where the extra bony bit of arm would have been positioned during Yi's life. But the team believe that Yi would have been able to glide. Here's what they think it might have looked like. Graceful, isn't it? Some further analyses of its weight suggest it was rather back-heavy and may have risked stalling in the air. Whatever it did, it just adds to the diversity we now know must have existed early in the bird family tree. And we can only be sorry that this little guy went extinct, while pigeons survive.